Humans have never understood the power of love, for if they had, they would surely have built noble temples and altars and offered solemn sacrifices. But this is not done, and most certainly ought to be done, since love is our best friend, our helper, and the healer of the ills which prevent us from being happy. To understand the power of love, we must understand that our original human nature was not like how it is now, but different. Human beings each had two sets of arms, two sets of legs, and two faces looking in opposite directions. There were three genders then, one comprised of two men called the children of the sun, one made of two women called the children of the earth, and a third made of a man and a woman called the children of the moon. of these original humans, the gods began to fear that their reign might be threatened. They sought for a way to end the humans' insolence without destroying them. It was at this point that Zeus divided the humans in half. After the division, the two parts of each desiring their other half came together, and throwing their arms about one another entwined in mutual embraces, longing to grow into one. So ancient is the desire of one another which is implanted in us, reuniting our original nature, making one of two, and healing the state of mankind. Each of us, when separated, having one side only, is always looking for our other half. And when one of us meets our other half, we are lost in an amazement of love and friendship and intimacy, and would not be out of the other sight even for a moment. We pass our whole lives together desiring that we should be melted into one, to spend our lives as one person instead of two, and so that after our death there will be one departed soul instead of two. This is the very expression of our ancient need, and the reason is that human nature was originally one, and we were a whole, and the desire and pursuit of the whole is called love.
something that's relative. The more of it that you experience, the faster that it seems to move. So when you're young, you know, a week seems like a really long time and months and years just are abstract concepts. They seem so far away. But as you get older and the more time you experience, the easier it is to forget how quickly that it actually moves. And when you when you live life, sometimes you forget to actually live in the moment. You're so busy looking ahead. And to me, I think it's really important that you need to live in your moments. So, Justin, Ricky, you may be planning into the future, but don't forget to, to live in your moments and take each one with every day that you experience with each other. Hopefully, you're going to have a lot of moments together. To Justin and Ricky. We all know now, Ricky and Justin booked their first trip to Greece together almost exactly three years ago today. And when they were here exploring the islands, they found that Milos was their favorite of all the islands. They fell in love, <clears throat> gonna do it, <laughs> uh, with the culture, the scenery, and that's the first time they fell in love with each other. And <laughs> so bad. Uh, so they chose to have their uh, wedding on this island specifically because they wanted us all to experience that same love that they felt for each other. And maybe we could feel it too. Uh, I think that they were probably right though, <laughs> because this place is gorgeous. And we don't want to leave. <laughs> um, anyway, you all know who I am because I have the same face as the bride. <laughs> uh, but growing up, Ricky and I, uh, we were always inseparable. We did everything together. Uh, we always said we were each other's person. We always uh, said we were two halves of a, one whole person, but neither of us were truly individuals without the other one. Uh, we were weird. We, we always did our own thing, but the only opinions that mattered was that of each other. And I also know we had the most fun. Everything we've done to prepare for this day is um, creating so many memories, so many people here. We're going to remember so many things about this. We're going to be talking about it in 25 years, just like we're talking about my sister's wedding still from 25 years ago on Tantorini. And, um, and these memories are going to grow in value over time, just like your relationship. And I just wish you guys all the best. And uh, don't, don't waste your money on all the commercial stuff. Just spend it on travel. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say, you know, just how happy I am for the two of you, um, for the coming together of the families, for ha how happy I see you two together. Um, for someone actually making Justin choke up and cry because <laughs> that's not that's not the Justin I know so it's a pretty deep love um, to see him like that and to see you Ricky as well um, I'm just so so delighted for you both and um, I look forward to the years to come I wouldn't miss it for the world
I was waiting for the moment to arrive Waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting for you And I wouldn't miss it for the world